Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Another gorgeous morning here in paradise. This morning, I'm down at the south end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida, standing on the boardwalk in Area 1. Temperature 74 degrees right now. Expecting the highs to get up to around 88. Water temperature's 84. Looking pretty calm out there. No signs of red tide down here. Relatively clear skies above and around me. Some clouds out in the Gulf. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see what's cooking out here this morning. How's everybody feeling today? Hope you're waking up feeling good with no aches and pains. If you do have something troubling you and if you need some prayers, please feel free to post your prayer requests in the comments here. Let our beach family know what might be ailing you. Got an awesome group of friends here. Take a little stroll down to the south here and then turn around and walk up the beach. We'll see if Daryl survived his birthday. <laughs> see if he pops on here. Hopefully he's sleeping in. It's quiet. Good morning. Good morning. Boy, we had a little bit of excitement in our neighborhood early this morning. Around 1, 1 a.m. this morning, 1.15 a.m. this morning, had a little shooting in the neighborhood in Naples Park. <laughs> That's always nice to hear. Not too far from our house, actually very close to one of our friends, Todd and Kathy's house. We're not releasing too many details about it yet, other than one person definitely confirmed dead. Crazy times. People are definitely on edge. Nice and flat. The birds coming by. Eh, we're going to get lucky today and see a dolphin. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That would be awesome. It would be awesome to see a dolphin. It's always awesome to see a dolphin, even a manatee. One of our friends saw two manatees up close to the shore here yesterday. 
Love to see that. Good morning. We've gotten some glimpses of manatees over the years, but we never had, well, I had an up close encounter with them one time. It was my birthday. I can't remember if it was, I think it was my birthday last year. Maybe the year before I was out in the water and five manatees came by. That was kind of neat. It didn't last long. And we've seen them up at the pass. We've got a couple of glimpses of them up at Wiggins Pass, but never one of those super up close encounters where they're all piled up along the edge of the shoreline. That just happened up at Lover's Key not too long ago, several days ago. I saw some photos and video of it on Facebook. Vanderbilt Beach down there to the south. I forgot to check the flags when I pulled in the parking lot this morning. So I wanted to come down here. More birds making their way up the beach. Probably gonna be a pile of them up there when we get up by areas four. Hey. Oh, you took the purple down? Yeah. I just was coming over here to see. Yeah. What was it for? Jellyfish or sting yeah. stingrays? Jellyfish. Yeah. But it's down, sweet. So you're safe. You can go in the water now with those <laughs> looking toes you got on. All right. Did you see the excitement we had in 99th last night? Oh. Right on, the, right on 8th and 99th. Not too far from Todd and Kathy. About 1 o'clock this morning. Text me later. All right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Talking to our friend Kevin. No purple flag here flying this morning, just a green flag, so we're in good shape. They had a purple flag yesterday for jellyfish. But we're in good shape today. No red tide. No stinging marine life out here. So we'll march up the beach, head up towards Wiggins Pass. In search of something exciting. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out with me. Nothing breaking the surface yet. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, Anita. hard to see into the water right now until that sun pops up over the treetops there. But it looks really good. The water looks good as far as I can tell. 
clear. Just some little waves rippling along the shore here. Margaret, good morning. Barb, good morning. That sun's getting ready to pop up here. We're down in area one, if you're just tuning in down at the south end. We started down on the boardwalk in area one this morning. Something a little different. You can see the sun right over here. Getting ready to pop up. So, yesterday, I went over to T-Mobile. They merged with Sprint. I had my cellular service with Sprint since they went cellular. Sprint PCS, now they merged with T-Mobile. So now it's T-Mobile I went over to see about getting a new phone. Well, I got a new iPhone 13 on its way. An iPhone 13 Pro Max. We'll see if that's any better than this old boat anchor, the 11 Pro Max. See if it still has that screen issue where it just goes dark no matter what, when it gets hot. I don't think there's going to be any improvements to the live feeds, but there's some improvements to the camera lenses when I'm taking photos and recording videos. So I'm looking forward to getting that. Lord knows when that's going to show up. I was overdue for a new phone. Can't believe how expensive they are. Whew. Fortunately, it's just part of my deal. I get a new phone every couple years with, well, with Sprint now with T-Mobile. My bill actually went down with T-Mobile. I'm pretty darn excited about that. Got a new phone, a lower bill, unlimited everything. Everything's unlimited data, no throttling. They've got a little discount for old farts. <laughs> the old fart discount. Let's see if their service is as good as their prices. That's good to hear. Cindy likes her T-Mobile. You know, they all have problems. Every carrier's got their issues. I mean, there's no way around it. Somewhere you're gonna go and it's just not gonna work, no matter who you have. So it's just a crapshoot when it comes to cell phones, but now, with the 5G going in everywhere, it should be getting better. And obviously, there's never going to be 5G out here at the beach. I never say never. Maybe they'll put some antennas in the pine trees here. <laughs>
Ah, that's interesting, Rose. I, I thought Metro PCS was Metro PCS. I didn't know you could have another. Or they just like Sprint, they merged with T-Mobile. Interesting. Becky, cool, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to better service. I'm seeing some good reviews there on T-Mobile. Keeping my fingers crossed. quiet out here. Holy smokes. Starting down at the south end like that. Quiet on Facebook too. Where the heck's everybody at? Where's everybody hiding this morning? Yeah, I've heard things about Verizon too, Becky. You know, I've heard it about every carrier, though. It's like, I guess you just pick one and go with it. Going to the phone store is never a fun experience. At least not, has never been a pleasurable experience for me. It just seems to take forever. Remember your first cell phone? <laughs> I think I got mine back in, it was definitely the 90s when I got my first cell phone for work. The first ones, there were actually two pieces. You had like a pack and the thing you'd talk into. Then I think Motorola came out with that one. It was kind of like a V-shape. That's what everybody had. And you, it was crazy, the pricing. It was by the minute. You just pay by the minute. When cell phones came out, they still had pay phones. They still had phone booths and pay phones. I think they still have pay phones in a few places. Few and far between. Good morning. Pay phones, they were always a good source of getting some change when you're a kid you just go up and you mash that button down on the top the coin return button you just hit that a few times it always you do it to, well we did it to every payphone we'd pass by and you get lucky every once in a while and a dime or something would drop out back then a dime would buy you a good size candy bar that and picking up soda bottles pop bottles as a lot of you people say pop bottles that was how you get your how I would get my candy money when I was a little kid or doing little chores for people Boy, life was simple, wasn't it? Back in the good old days. I'm talking when I was little, back in the 60s. Yeah, 
Everybody knew everybody in the neighborhood. Parents looked after each other's kids. You trusted your neighbors, your friends to discipline your kids when they were bad. It's like, go for it. If they're at your house and they're bad, discipline them. I don't think that word discipline's even in the dictionary anymore. Now it's go take a time out. <laughs> or the parents are, I'm sorry. You know, the parents take the blame. Mm. Crazy, crazy, crazy worlds. No consequences anymore for reactions or actions. No consequences for actions. little boat heading up the coast fishing boat end of area two by the boardwalk right now. Good morning. Seeing a few little fish jumping out of the water now and then. Seeing a couple little snowy egrets on the edge of the water here. Some some ibises. But not seeing those Big flocks, big groups of birds yet. I think they're up to the north here. They like hanging out up in area four. Good morning. It is a glorious morning. That water feels great. 84 degrees. 84 and clean. Something right here, I can't tell. It's so dark in the water. Couldn't tell if they were snook or mullet. School of fish, I walked right out into them and they scattered. Just wanted to give you a look around. Come out into the water and give you a look around. I look up and down the beach from the water and back to the east. Sun shining through the pine trees over here. Right there. See it right in there? Woo! Bright and looking back at it. sun's coming up later and later each morning here until we fall back getting ready for our time change and it's going to be bright when I come out here maybe they'll start letting us in the park earlier when the time changes wouldn't that be nice wouldn't it be great if we could get out here at sunrise again that was so much fun
super calm, super calm. Let's see if we make it up to Wiggins Pass this morning. Get back up on dry ground here. The sky, sky box under that pine tree on the right there. Nobody in the sky box yet. Good morning, Donalds. The sun hitting the tops of the trees over here. Starting to hit the beach in a few little places, raking across the beach here. Tide is going out. Slowly going out. birds coming by here. More of our feathered friends passing by. But none of our flippered friends. <laughs> Where's our flippered friends? little beach morning glories are doing our railroad vine. Well, it looks like they got a lot of blooms on them here. A lot of little purple flowers, the little beach morning glories. They're still in bloom. Love it. Mm, they smell good too.
This is the north end of Area 3. I don't know if this is Area 3 or Area 4. There's a big gap between the parking lots, between parking lot 3 and 4. It's Area 3 and a half. Gorgeous blue sky. Just love that blue sky down here. I love the blue sky. I love the big white puffy clouds in the blue sky. I even like the rain clouds in the blue sky. It's all beautiful. Happy Taco Tuesday, everybody. Taco Tuesday. Everybody go get their taco on. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit that share button. Invite your friends to tag along with us. Send some stars if you appreciate what I do. Some stars, a tip. If you'd like to send a tip, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. It's your friendship and financial support that allow me to come out here and do these live feeds in the morning. All right, getting out into the sunlight now. Great blue heron up here in front of me. Sure, it's the same one that we've been seeing out here in the morning. Doing a little fishing. Doing a little fishing for breakfast. You posing for me? Sweet. Sweet, sweet. 
Good morning. Gonna catch something or not? <laughs> There's a ton of fish out here again this morning. Yeah, I think he's just uh, looking for the perfect fish. <laughs> oh well. Beautiful out here with the sun up now. Well, taking off, going up the beach. Heading up the beach. Let's see how clear that water is here. Looking good, my friends, looking good. Beautiful as always. All the birds are up on the beach this morning, chilling out. They're sitting up on, all up in here. Some seagulls here in front of me. Area 4 Beach.
little feathered friends. Well, it is awful quiet here on Facebook. I'm going to start another live feed up, see if it attracts a few more people here, if they, just in case they missed their notification. No stars this morning. At least no stars yet. We'll see what happens. Hopefully that'll pick up. Stick around. I'll be back in a little while. If I don't see you later, have an awesome Tuesday. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out some of my videos and photos here on Southwest Florida Television. When you see something you like, hit that share button. Please, share, share, share. It's all about the sharing. Spread my mission of bringing awesome people just like you together one beach walk at a time. Well, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.